A guilty verdict is reached in the trial of Diego Hernandez. The 24-year-old is being held responsible for the fatal strangulation of Lori Bray. Audrey Mayer has been covering this story ever since Bray was first reported missing 18 months ago. Audrey, how are Lori's friends and family reacting to this news? Greg, it is clear Bray was loved by so many people in the Laurel community. People filled the gallery in the courtroom today, and all of them nodded and embraced when Hernandez was found guilty. To the charge of deliberate homicide, guilty. After two hours of deliberation, 12 jurors find Diego Hernandez guilty of deliberate homicide and the death of Lori Bray. Hernandez has yet to admit to the crime, but the prosecution argues all evidence points to him. After she closed up the Cedar Ridge Casino in Laurel on October 1, 2019, security footage shows Diego Hernandez getting into the passenger seat of Bray's car. She allegedly offered to give Hernandez a ride home that night, an act of kindness, the prosecution says, that would ultimately lead to her death. That same car is found abandoned the next day on Buffalo Trail Road with Bray's blood-stained clothes, her cell phone, empty wallet, and a box of Marlboro cigarettes, the same brand Hernandez was carrying the night of Bray's death. That car is no longer just a mode of transportation. It's a crime scene, and it screams violence. During the final day of the trial, Deputy Yellowstone County Attorney Ed Zink looks directly at Hernandez, asking him why it took him so long to leave the casino in the early morning hours of October 1st, after Bray is seen on security tape showing Hernandez the clock, signaling the casino is closing, and it's time for him to go. Why is he still sitting there? Almost half an hour after he's been kicked out. Why is he still there? Over the course of the trial, the prosecution brought cell phone data, photos of scratches on Hernandez's face and hands, a wad of cash found in his room, and recently washed and bleached clothes into evidence. Most notably, a swab of a bloody stain in the center of the back seat of Bray's car and DNA under Bray's fingernail clippings matched Diego Hernandez's DNA. According to expert witness Joe Pasternak from the Montana State Crime Lab, the swab from the bloody stain is about a one in one trillion match in Hispanic people. The DNA from Bray's fingernails, a one in 60.1 octillion match of Hispanic people. That's a number with 27 zeros after it. In the defense's closing arguments, Joel Thompson points out there's no way to find out how the blood got there and why. He also said the vehicle was unlocked and could have been disturbed prior to law enforcement's search. But that wasn't enough to give the jury reasonable doubt. At the end of the prosecution's closing arguments, a side-by-side -side picture of Hernandez's scratches next to Bray's beaten body is shown to the jury. The image is too horrific for television. Tiny Lori did not stand a chance that night. Now, this is just a summary of six full days of trial. To read all of our coverage on this, you can head over to our website. Reporting live in Billings, I'm Audrey Mayer, Montana Right Now.